Hey guys, in today's tutorial we're going to learn how to draw heart shapes using Affinity Designer version 2. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more Affinity Designer tutorials. Alright, the Valentine's Day is coming, so it's really handy to know how to draw a heart shape, right? Good news is there is actually a dedicated shape tool for that. So if we go to our handy shape tool on the left side, you will notice there is actual heart shape at the very bottom of the long list of different shapes. That will be super helpful because that's not a common shape to have in most of those vector editing software. We got triangle, star, rectangle and oval, but in this case in Affinity Designer they also provide additional shapes and today we will need a heart shape tool. So let's grab this. At the bottom of the list there's a heart shape dedicated tool for drawing hearts. So that's really short tutorial, right? I'm just showing you where to grab a tool. Now you can draw it like that. Hold the shift for the proportion and ta-da! <laughs> End of the tutorial I will guess. But wait a moment, let's explore this a little bit deeper, all right? So that's our basic shape from the shape tool. You may notice there is one smart control point, the orange point in the center. So we can drag this up and down to control the shape. All right, so we can move this up and down to control the shape. But if you want the full control on all the nodes in the shape, you will need to expand this into a curves. So we're turning the shape type of the layer into classic curves. You can do this by clicking the button at the top over here. All right, let's do that. And now, as you can see, all nodes reappear and I can control them one by one. So I can grab a node and move it around. Now we got full control and we can modify this pre-made shape as we want. In addition, you can turn this node into the sharp one, like that, without any anchor points. Or you can grab anchor points itself and change the curve of the line. Okay, so that's something you can do. You can grab the line itself. That's something we can do in Affinity Designer. We can also modify the line, not only by grabbing points, but also by grabbing the line. Take a look. You can pull the line. But now the corresponding line Let's try to balance up. So that's a problem. We can use a handy shortcut. We can press Option or Alt key to drag this to be unbalanced. But in this case, it will create a little hole in this side of the heart. So it's not nice at all. While we are talking about this unbalanced nodes, I need to mention a trick. You can actually draw a hole heart shape by using just two nodes. That's right, only two nodes. So let's try to do that. Pen tool. We draw first node at the top and then press Option or Alt to make them unbalanced like that. Then you just need one more point at the bottom when we do the same thing. Like that and then Option and Alt to make them unbalanced to the top and then close the shape. Unfortunately, I release my alt key too fast and I mess up the first anchor point, but I can fix it up using node tool. That's the best part about doing the vector art. We can always fix our mistakes by using node tool. All right, and this is the heart shape we draw by hand using pen tool with only two nodes. And so that is really easy to modify because there's no other nodes to block us, to change it. So just two nodes, so we can very quickly modify this heart shape exactly as we need. So try to draw it with only two nodes. It's great exercise for practicing your pen tool skills as well. All right, so that's the one way we can make a heart shape. We can draw it by pen tool, or we can use the pre-made shape from the list as we did before. So let's go back to that. This is the pre-made shape. And what if this is not a very happy Valentine's Day for you? <laughs> so let's go with the dark heart. And now I'm going to use a knife tool. This is new tool added in version 2, added recently. By using knife tool, we can split existing shapes into two. So just draw the line of the knife. Make sure you go through to the another side. 
release and this way we split the shape into two pieces. Very quickly we turn this pre-made shape into a totally new one, crack hard. We can even add this back together using the geometry panel at the top. Click here and you will end up with a single shape now. I will recommend grabbing node tool and do some cleanups. We can clean up unnecessary nodes so it's much better. And if you plan to cut this using lasers or blade, it will be way better if you clean up your nodes, unnecessary nodes. All right. So here's an, a hard shape we draw with pen tool. Another one is the one we create with knife tool, the crack hard shape. Some of you may need a hard shape that is empty inside. It's more like a ring as a border. So let's do that as well. This is pre-made hard shape. You don't need to hold shift, you can control the proportion yourself in this case. And now we want to apply a stroke color, not the fill color. We don't want any fill color, only stroke color like this. So that's the stroke around the shape, nothing new. If you need it higher than 100, you can type it from the keyboard because the slider will end on 100. But feel free to type the higher number if you got really big artboard. All right, so that's what we need here. And now we are ready to expand and this stroke to be its own shape. All right, so if you go to the layer panel, you will be able to turn any stroke into a proper shape. So let's try that. Layer, and we can expand stroke from here. This will turn the stroke into a shape. So that's really handy. So that's the shape now, nice. So we got a shape, but it's kind of like empty inside, the hole inside. This will be super useful if you plan to do some kind of interlocking heart shapes. So let's duplicate that. A little bit of rotation, a copy here, flip it horizontally. Let's alter the color so we can see which one is where exactly. Okay. So now we got two heart shapes like that, but as you see, the one is at the top of another. So that's not ideal. If I move this one, reorder the layers. This one's at the top now. That's not what we need. We need to interlock them like a chain. How we can do that? Really easily because of the new shape builder tool. So select that, pick shape builder below the shape tool. And now we, with the plus mode, we can simply select what we want to have in this new shape. This part. Release. And that's my new shape. As you can see now, it looks like the one is interlocking another one. The top is here, but going under another shape here. So that's perfect. Really quick way to interlock shapes. Not only hard shapes, rings and any other shape you want. All right, so that's it for today. We draw a hard shape with pen tool. Keep in mind, you will need to use the shortcut key to alter the node. So click, make the first node. And then we need to alter the another one. So be sure your first node is going up like that and alter the another one to go up as well by holding Option or Alt key. Do the same thing with the bottom node. Alter this one and close it while still holding the key. And this way you will have a nice hard shape with only two nodes. Very nice trick. All right, of course, we can use the pre-made shape we used before. It's over here on the list. A very quick way to draw a hard shape. And if you just need a hard shape that's empty inside, flip the fill color with the stroke color like that and expand your stroke into a proper shape. All right, I hope this tutorial was useful and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye.